In other global news, a high-level delegation from the United States is on a three-day visit to the crisis-hit island nation Sri Lanka. The team from U.S. Treasury and State Departments held two separate meetings with Sri Lankan President Gotabaya Rajapaksa and with Sri Lankan Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe. The delegation will be holding a number of meetings with officials, economists and international organizations. According to the U.S. Embassy in Sri Lanka, the team aims, and I quote, to explore the most effective ways to help Sri Lanka out of its current economic crisis. The U.S. ambassador to Sri Lanka has tweeted that America is committed to deliver assistance and long-term partnership to help Colombo through the challenging times. Over the past two weeks, the United States has announced $120 million in financing various businesses. $27 million have been contributed to Lanka's dairy industry as well. And $5.7 million have been pledged in humanitarian assistance to the Sri Lankans. Not, not only this, another $6 million have been committed in new grants for livelihoods and financial reforms. A team from the International Monetary Fund is already in Sri Lanka and they have been discussing on a possible $3 billion bailout package. Sri Lanka says it is unable to repay $7 billion in foreign debt, which is due this year. The authorities are waiting for the outcome of meeting with the IMF team as well. Meanwhile, two other ministers are scheduled to leave for Russia. According to the Power and Energy Minister, Sri Lanka is planning to directly purchase fuel from Moscow and discuss other diplomatic matter on the visit. In the latest, the Sri Lankan government has suspended all fuel sales except for essential services. The government has appealed to the private sector to let employees work from home as the country is running out of fuel supplies. The energy minister had urged people to not line up for fuel, stating that the new shipments would be delayed due to banking and logistics reasons. And until the next shipment arrives, only public transport, power generations and industries will be given a priority. Despite the announcement, the queues outside fuel stations have increased in Colombo. Troops were seen handing out tokens to motorists waiting in line. These tokens are meant to hold queue positions for when fuel becomes available. Not only this, all the schools are also short and employees have been asked to work from home across Sri Lanka, which is battling its worst economic crisis in seven decades. Our correspondent, Dasunya Thora, brings us this report from Colombo. Take a look. The assurance given by the top-level delegates to Sri Lanka that the U.S. is willing for further financial assistance as well as technical assistance to the crisis-ridden island nation comes at a time where the entire island nation is grappled by an acute shortage of fuel and domestic gas with a new token system that has now been introduced island-wide set to take place from today onwards. That's not all Sri Lanka's economic crisis that is heavily depending on an IMF bailout still looks for concrete solutions and headway regarding a possible bailout in the coming few months. Stay with Vion as we bring you the very latest reporting from Colombo. I'm Dasanya Thauda.